Hello, welcome to RC Video Reviews. One of the most common questions I get about the TX16S and the Jumper T18 are what are these six buttons for along the top? Another question I get all the time is, hey, I've got a flight computer that's got four different flight modes, but I only have three position switches on my radio, so what do I do? And when I get those types of questions, I almost chuckle a little bit to myself because the radio is very capable of dealing with that. But when you're new to the system, it might be kind of hard to piece it together. And when you've been using this software for a while, it's a pretty easy thing to, to put together. So I want to show you guys two things today. One, I'm going to show you the concept of AND and logic. So we can use two switches to give us nine positions. Then we're going to do a thought exercise, which will combine the nine position switches and the six position switch to give you a 54 position switch. Again, this is a thought exercise. The whole intention here is to show you how the radio thinks. So once you understand that, you'll never look at a four or five position flight computer and be intimidated again. All right, let's get started. You can see on my screen, I've already built the matrix. I think for those of you who are interested in this type of thing, you've probably watched enough videos to understand that we're in OpenTX Companion. And rather than sh have me show you how I type this stuff out, I'm just gonna walk you through what I did. We're in the logical switch tab and I've built a matrix with nine positions. So you can see L01 through L09 and I've used SC and SD as the two switches in this matrix. And to think about it logically, all that's gonna happen here is I've got SC up and SD up middle and down. That's group one, that's three switches. And then I've got SC middle and SD up middle and down. That's group two, that's six switches. And now I've got L07 starting with SC down and SD up middle and down. That's group three, that's nine switches. So let's take a look at the simulator at how this plays out. So I'll start with SD and SC, both in the up position, and you see I've got L01 lit. Now I'll move SD to middle, and you can see I've got L02. SD down is L03. Now I'll put SD back up and SC to the middle. That gives me L04, and then five, and then six, and then I'll move SD up and SC down, and that gives us seven, eight, and nine. And now you can use special functions to have L01 do things like set a channel, like perhaps your mode channel on your radio to be a certain value like negative 86. And then L02 would be a negative value like, I don't know, negative 75 and so on. You get the idea? So whatever value your flight computer needs, you can use your logical switch to set that value on a given channel. And then don't forget to hit on. And there you go. You just created a nine position switch out of two. Okay, the second half of this video has to focus on the radio because there is some software incompatibility with companion and the six position switch. So for that reason, I'm gonna show you the next steps on the radio itself. We'll start with special functions. You can see that I created six special functions that use the six position switch as the indicators. So right now the six position switch is on position one. And then I also have two, three, four, five, and six. Don't let the layout of this thing fool you. It's just a switch. It's no different than this three position switch, except it's not a toggle, it's a push button. And instead of having three positions, it has six. Imagine taking this switch and just moving it down three more clicks. Okay, it's, that's all it is. It's just a six position switch. That's it. But I'll show you in special functions how one way we can employ that. I'm gonna turn the volume up a little bit so you can hear. Now I've got my six position. I'm just gonna call it the six P. I've got the six P switch on one right now. Now I'm gonna put it on two. Flight mode two. And you can see six P two is lit up on special function two. Now I'll put it on three. Flight mode three. And then four, five, and six. Flight mode four. Flight mode five. Flight mode six. And that's it. It's just a switch, that's all it is. No different than this one, except instead of three, it's got six, and instead of being a toggle, it's a button, that's it. Okay, now let me show you how you can use this in practice. I'm gonna go to my dual rates, and I'm going to show you that I've got the six position switch set up to activate my dual rate. So notice that in my dual rates on the aileron, elevator, and rudder, I've got SP1 and not SP1. 
the idea there is that if I'm on SP1, I want this rate. If I'm not on SP1, I want this rate. Flight mode one. Okay, so when I hit SP1, you can see that first line is active. Now when I hit SP, I don't care, four, Flight mode four. you can see the second line is active and it works for all three of these control surfaces. Now you can be more complex than that. If you want to put a line in for every one of these six position switches, you can. You can say SP1, SP2, SP3. The one thing I warn you about if you do that though is you can't use the either or concept, which means if you do that, well let me do it, let me show you an example. Let's take the aileron and I'm just gonna create, I'm gonna create a copy and I'm gonna set the first one to be SP2. We'll invert that and then set it to SP2. And then this one remains not SP1. Now let's see what happens here. So I'll hit one. SP1, that's lit. Flight mode two. Now look at the problem. You got SP2 and SP1 both lit, but no, look, notice what the radio does. It takes the first one that meets the condition. In this case, it's SP2, so it lights that. Now SP3 Flight mode three. is the third line, Flight mode four. fourth, and so on. You get what happens there? So you can be that complex if you want. You could say, hey, for flight mode two, I want the ailerons to be different, but I want the elevator and rudder to be the same. That's logic that you could do that with, okay? And, and again, I'll just show you. Aileron, and then this should be 25. Okay, so now look, what happens here is SP1 one. sets rates here, here, and here. So I've got 100, 195. Now when I hit two, What's going to happen is the elevator and rudder are both going to drop down to the second line, but the aileron is going to drop to the 40% line. Flight mode two. You see that? So elevator says, hey, I don't have an SP2, so I'm just going to go to the line that says not SP1. That's 50, and the rudder does the same thing. But the aileron does have an SP2 line, so it lands on this middle row. Now if I hit three, four, five, and six, it'll, these two will stay, the elevator and rudder will stay, and the aileron will move to the third line. There you go. So that's a fairly complex way of using the six position switch to help specify your rates. Now, the last thing I want to get into is the thought exercise part. So you remember when we did the logical switches, we made that nine position grid out of two switches. Okay, this should look familiar to you because this is what we did on Companion. We've got L01 through L09 using group one, two, and three. You remember that? Now we're going to take that a step further and I'm going to ask you, what if you were to combine group one, group two, and group three with one more and? What if you were to say, I've got a six position switch, one, two, three, four, five, six. What if I took that group of nine and assigned it to one and then assigned it to two and then to three and so on? What would wind up happening is you'd wind up with a matrix of 54 switch positions. This is why now hopefully you're getting a chuckle saying, oh my gosh, a four position uh, flight computer on OpenTX is nothing. Easy, piece of cake. Well, let me show you how it works. Notice on logical switch 10, I've got L01, which says when SC and SD are both up, I want L01 to be lit. So I've got SC and SD both up now, and L01 is lit. Now let's scroll down and look at my L L10 that says SP1 and L01. So if I hit SP1, notice that L10 is lit now. Now if I start walking through that nine position matrix we already defined, you're going to see L11, L12, L13. Watch, I'll do it. In fact, I want to show you an easy way to watch this. We'll do it in the monitor screen. Now pay attention to L10 because that's where our nine position matrix is now added with the six position switch. And right now we're on SP1. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cycle through all nine positions for switch number one and switch number two. Okay, here we go. We're on L10, now I'm gonna move SD middle, 11, SD down, 12, SD back up, SC down to the middle with SD up, middle and down, SC down, SD up, we're on L16 now, SD middle, SD down. Okay, so that's nine positions using SP1 is the AND switch. Now we're gonna use 
SP2 is the flight end switch. Okay, so we're now in flight mode two. We'll put our switches back up to the top and look at our logical switch. We're now on 19. So we'll do the same thing. We're just gonna walk through it. SD is up. We'll do SD middle and down. SC middle, SD middle and down. I'm gonna move that highlight off there so you can see. SC down, SD middle and down. So right there, we created an 18 position switch. Remember we started at L10 and we're all the way on L28 and we cycled through every one of them. Okay, so there's L10, both switches down, and two, two, we're all the way to L28. So we've created an 18 position matrix just using these two switches and these two switches, that's it. Again, that's a thought exercise, guys. So don't sit there and go, well, John, what the hell am I gonna do with a 54 position switch? I don't know, I, I couldn't remember that. I'm, I did this to show you the logic behind it so that from now on, when you get a flight computer and it says, we need six modes, you chuckle, you laugh because you're empowered. Now you just say, ha ha, my radio can handle that easy. And now you know how to do it. All right, so don't let this stuff get to you. Don't overthink it. The idea behind this exercise was to show you the logic in the radio and how the logic applies and how you can take an AND condition and pair it with another AND condition. We've got a matrix with nine different outputs on these two switches right here. And then when you AND that to the six position switch positions, that's six of them. Nine times six is 54. So you get a 54 position matrix just using these two switches and this, that's it. Now, I don't know how you're gonna remember all that, but the point of the matter is that you can laugh in the face of any flight computer you encounter from now on. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that content. If that's been valuable to you, please consider hitting that subscription button. It really helps small channels like mine get video placement and that's the payback if you appreciate the hard work that goes into making these videos, that's the payback. For those of you who've been around for a while, keep talking, keep giving the thumbs up, share the videos. I appreciate everything you do there. Don't forget to hit my affiliate links for Amazon and Banggood. That's all I've got for today, guys. Take it easy. Hey Google, turn off the lights.